In this video, I'd like to give you an introduction to web maps, explain their core features, and give you some ideas for how a web map could be beneficial to your website or application. Web maps have exploded in popularity since the Google Maps API was released in 2005, giving web developers an easy way to drop custom maps in their sites with a minimal amount of new code. Web maps are an effective medium to give your users geographic context for your data, your services, or your brand. These maps are more prevalent now than ever before, and they've never been easier to develop with and customize to match the look and feel of your own website. Today's web maps are known as slippy maps. The user can freely pan and zoom in the map with fluid motions. The interface uses Ajax, also known as asynchronous JavaScript and XML, to dynamically load new portions of the map as needed without reloading the whole page. Web maps can add benefits to just about any website. Here's some simple examples. You might want to show office locations for your company or business, user activity on your website, or the service boundaries of your business, such as delivery areas. There's also more advanced applications for web maps. For example, you could show historical information, forecasts based on scientific data, or a live data feed using real-time information. Web maps can serve as a useful feature of any website. They can give your users the big picture on what your company or organization is trying to achieve. They're easy to build, you can customize them to match your site's look and feel, and you can use free, open source platforms to build them with. So that wraps up this introduction to web mapping. I hope it gave you some ideas for how web maps might be useful on your website or application. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on Learn More. Don't forget to subscribe to the O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials. And be sure to like us on Facebook.